You wake up, turn on your computer, and there it is. A menacing message informing you the data on your computer is encrypted. The only way to unlock it, pay up. You're now the victim of ransomware. Ransomware, a modern day digital abduction, and security expert Ian Marlowe says these hackers have little sympathy. The level of non morality from the people that are using this. They don't care. They don't care about the impact of health or life. They care about the $300 that they're asking for. A criminal kidnapping used to refer to taking people, paying up, not unlike the old Mel Gibson movie, Ransom, that desperate hope to pay and bring back a loved one. Give me back my son! The ransomware holdup now is similar in concept, says Adam Levin, who specializes in credit and identity theft. The secret to ransomware is it's not what that data is worth to someone else, it's what is that data worth to you that sometimes sets the price of what you have to pay in order to ransom it. Among the most damaging examples, 2012, the Reviton strain claimed a law enforcement agency discovered the computer has been used for illegal activities, so pay up. CryptoLocker 2013, it threatened to delete information if you didn't send money to a Bitcoin account. FUSAB 2014, it hit mobile devices demanding victims pay a fine or face a fictitious crime. Most of these hacks originated from clicking on an erroneous email or visiting a compromised site. The old way that we saw them come through was through phishing emails. You'd open an email, it would you know, begin to ping your computer, you'd get hit once it starts encrypting. In this instance, the software itself knows whether or not you have the vulnerability. Once it hits your network, it starts to search for everything else that has that vulnerability, and it just follows itself. Sort of like a worm. Pretty much, yes. So what to do if the worm finds you? First of all, don't pay it. Immediately turn your computer off. You need to disconnect it from the network in order for it to stop uh, basically infecting the rest of your network. And Marlowe, who owns the cybersecurity firm Fitech, says the best defense is early planning for an inevitable attack. And the key is for people to understand of how to actually keep their backups and have them segregated from their current network and if, you, if it happens and you get that screen and your things really are locked and encrypted, you're able to restore yourself and not be beholden to the ransomware. This is here now and this is something that we're going to have to deal with from here until we stop using computers. Uh, I guarantee you there's someone that's already three steps ahead of this. Dan Bowens, Fox 5 News.